going to start a little vlog today because I am having a bit of a fun weekend. I don't know, it's not gonna be that fun. I'm literally gonna go out tonight and not do much tomorrow, but for me, that's fun. I don't do a lot. With my boyfriend, I'm going to a Canucks game tonight and we are going to go for dinner beforehand in Vancouver. Who knows, maybe this vlog will end up being a little longer than just this weekend. Maybe I'll combine few weekends into it. I did want to chat about what I did this morning which was get a corrective peel from a place called Essence of L that has helped my skin out so much and basically what they do is they put like they call it a peel but I'm pretty sure the actual products are like fruit like citrus acid and stuff like it's not like very harsh chemicals as far as i understand it and basically the whole thing that they do is you come in it's very relaxing it's kind of like a spa in a way and they usually cleanse your face and do a few other steps that i'm not entirely sure of i'm pretty sure it's just cleansing and making sure your skin is clean so you go in with no makeup no nothing and then they put the peel on and they do a few rounds of the peel it stings a little bit but it doesn't hurt too much and then they'll do extractions on any current outbreaks that you have which really helps clear them up quickly because they're doing it in a more safe way than if you would do it yourself like it doesn't scar as much and then after they do all that they take it off and you sit under a red light for a while which helps reduce inflammation and it helps with anti-aging as well as she was saying it has been helping my skin a lot it is quite expensive like quite expensive but i find it worth it it's kind of the attitude I like to have with money is spend it on the things you want and save in other areas. So there's like certain other things that I don't do in order to spend money on stuff like this. I did have to take a break for it for a while because I had to put like two grand into my car. So that set me back for a bit and my skin was spiraling a little bit. But I might do another video on that because that's like a whole thing but now it's doing a lot better and i use all of their products and it's the best my skin has been ever so there is a trade-off to it like it is worth it it's just a lot of money it depends what you care about or like how bad you find your skin or like think you should spend money on it but anyways that's not what this vlog is about i just want to mention it because it's such a relaxing experience and it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something for my skin like I don't know at least it's getting better in some way I look rough right now but it is the next day the Canucks game was fun we got a point we went to overtime but we didn't we lost in the end so that kind of sucked but that's okay it was a really good game honestly <clears throat> and it was a lot of fun and now I just went to a place called M&M Meats which is just basically like frozen food because I was supposed to do a full grocery shop, but honestly, I'm just like not feeling it today. So I just went nearby and I haven't had food yet, like breakfast yet. So I'm kind of like low energy right now and um, just want to get it done. And then I'm just like waiting on my Starbucks order. I usually just order ahead because I don't like the stress of ordering and like the anxiety of ordering in person, which sounds really stupid. Like, I don't know. 
but I'd just rather do it online and just go in there and not have to talk to anybody. That's like my preferred method of communication at most most times. Is that what I got? Is that what I got in the meats? I just got some potato wedges. And then this isn't really the healthiest. I don't usually go for stuff like this. But they didn't have a lot of stuff with no dairy in it. And I'm really trying to avoid the dairy for my skin. Um, because it definitely causes breakouts. So... I'm really trying to avoid dairy, so this was kind of the only two things that didn't have dairy. These are the ingredients. It is three frozen bananas, one teaspoon of vanilla, four Oreos, three to four Oreos, and one fourth cup of almond milk. And then you just blend it all together. I also like to put coconut whipping cream on top, as well as breaking apart an Oreo on top of it, like crumbling it, and it is so good. 